Hey, hello everyone, my name is Drago and I'm going to explain to you the safety rules for physical education and health classes, unit, athletics, track and field. So before to start, you should know and you should understand that you should be aware of all of these rules and also you should be responsible with your own safety and the safety of the others students. Okay, now real quick. Before to start, you should bring with yourself the school sport uniform. The school sport uniform that you receive at the beginning of the year. But if you don't receive it, or if you didn't receive it, you're gonna receive it. And if you don't have, you should bring your own t-shirt, sports pants, and some sport shoes, okay? And then you are ready to start the lesson. Real quick, jeans and pants or shirt, are not allowed during the PE classes. If you come, if you come like this, you you will uh, receive tasks from your teacher what you have to do during that lesson. Okay, so okay. Once we finish with our sport uniform, what what's next? What's next? We should be aware of uh, how we are ready. How how do we do? You think that you can be ready? First of all, we should check our school sport uniform that means if your laces are untied you should sit down and tie your shoes laces or the girls if you if you don't uh, uh, if you don't have your hair tied you, sh you should tie your hair so you can start the lesson also if you have a jacket if you think that it's cold outside for you let's say and if you have a jacket and the jacket is unzipped you just have to zip your jacket and then you are ready to start okay why it's so important because if you have the shoes laces uh, open while you are running you might step in one of the laces and you might fall down right on the running track okay and not just running for example when you have to do the broad jump and you just step on your laces you might you might have some difficulties or some injuries okay so that's why it's very important to check your sport uniform before to start and i'm pretty sure that you all know about this now about let's start with the, the running tracks so let, let's say we are ready to start the lesson the teacher gives you and I said a task what you have to do and you start to do the warm-up or the exercises for the warm-up or some exercises that involve the running tracks so when you have to run on the running track you should keep the distance why because if you have and if you stay so closer to your colleague let's say and the colleague suddenly stop because he might not continue to run because some some injuries he might stop and if you are not careful you might fall on him okay so that's why you keep the distance now if the the student that he's in front of you he's more slower than you and you are more faster and you want to cross over the line and to cross in front of him you just have to make the one step on the side and then you continue okay so these are the one of the rules that is very important just keep the distance because it's very important it is very important okay now uh, we're gonna have for example throwing the ball okay so throwing the ball your teacher will uh, explain to you and will uh, put you in such a place that you can practice throwing the ball the technique and everything okay now it's very important when you throw the ball you're gonna receive for example the tennis ball probably I don't know and when you have to throw you use the right technique of course but those that they, they are not performing in that moment, they should stay, let's say I'm like this, okay? And I have to throw. I am the one. And you that you are watching now, you are where you think that you should, you, sh you should stay. So this is my right side. This is the corridor in front of me, the white line. And this is the left one. So you should stay all the time on the left side and let me to do the throwing okay otherwise we might have some injuries for example if you stay on the corridor or 
on the direction of throwing, you might not see the ball. Even if you think that it's a, a, a tennis ball, you might not see the ball and the ball can hit you in your eye, for example, trying to catch, to give it back. Okay, so that's why it's better to stay on the left. Why not on the right? Because everyone should follow the student that is performing from the left side. We, we have to stay all the time on the left side, okay? So we throw, then again, one of the rules is you throw, you go and take your ball, okay? So you should be also responsible with the sport equipment. This is one of the, another rule. Okay, so you throw, you had uh, your chance to perform, you go and take the ball, and then you're gonna wait again your turn. Okay, now uh, in this video, I'm not gonna talk about the technique. The technique, you're gonna receive it during the lesson. And I'm pretty sure that most of the students, they know already the technique of how you have to throw the ball. Okay, now we're gonna talk now about the um, bro jump or long jump from the place or easy bro jump for example bro jump in english is like this when you have to jump from the place as much as you can now my question for you guys is what do you think can you jump uh, on uneven uh, field for example so it's uneven we can we can can we go can we go and uh, do this bro jump on the hill or for example if here it's wet and we have water can we do this can we practice this well no you cannot and i repeat you cannot you cannot jump or practicing the bro jump on uneven field or if it's too slippery and yes if you have here water or it's too slippery you cannot or you you cannot practice or perform because guess what you're gonna slip and you're gonna have problems with your ankles okay so that's why it's very important to listen and to be aware of this all of these uh, rules okay now also uh, I'm gonna show to you in, in this video at one point the the long jump, the speed sand, where we have to do our long jump with the run. Now, I have a question for you. What do you think? Imagine that you have to do this and is getting ready one of your friends or your colleagues to do it. And guess what? Because he's is so good friend of you, you want to help him. What you do in that moment while he's getting ready to run can you can you just stay near to this uh, pit the track running track and where is the sand to jump can you stay near there and just you know trying to help your colleague to have a long jump what do you think well let me tell you what no the same when the student is getting ready to uh, to do his uh, long jump of course with the run no one else has to stay there except the teacher okay now the teacher will say and only when the teacher said to you go then in that moment you have to go and do the jump okay without the permission of the teacher you are not allowed to do the jumping okay and no one has to stay there everyone has to stay back and wait for his turn okay so because otherwise while you want to do this you might have serious problem don't think that ah, oh, it's sand it's okay I'm gonna just no it's okay okay so that's that's why you should be aware of all of this now uh, of course uh, uh, if you have any questions just go and ask uh, your teacher uh, if you have any other questions just also come and ask me uh, anyway, you're gonna receive all of the, your info, uh, all of the information that you need from your teacher. Okay. Now, um, also uh, one of the rules because uh, we were speaking before in this video, what you should do if um, when not if when you are using the sport uh, 
equipment. For example, like I said, mentioned before, you go and throw the ball and you throw it, you practice it and it's almost the end of the lesson. What you should do, let's say you have the last chance to practice, you throw and the teacher say, hey, let's go, it's time to finish, let's go. What you should do in that moment? If you use the ball to throw the ball and the teacher said, hey, okay, it's time to go, you should go and take the ball and bring it back to the teacher. And no matter what kind of sport equipment you are using during that lesson, your responsibility also is to use the uh, sport equipment only if the teacher said to you and if the teacher allows you to use that uh, equipment you should bring it back okay and i have another question what if during the warm-up exercises let's say you feel pain you start to uh, have pain on your joints legs or you might have headache what you should do in that moment and you are for example doing the warm-up exercises around your colleagues or your friends and you start to do and suddenly you have these uh, problems what you should do in that moment well what you can say hey uh, Drago I feel bad well, I mean, but I'm, it's okay I'm gonna continue anyway this you have to do or you just hey sir uh, I feel bad can I just uh, sit on the bench and not to continue because I really feel bad can I just sit or can I just uh, go to the nurse and check uh, how I'm feeling so this is what you have to do whenever you feel that you cannot continue but do not use this just like an excuse not to be part of the lesson okay do not use this excuse just to avoid doing the lesson okay as you can see it might happen during the warm-up exercises to have some pain you see that's another reason another rule that it's very important to do the warm-up you cannot just start directly it's better to start with the warm-up and then to start to do uh, the lesson okay so again it's very important to follow and respect everything okay now so what you have to do you just have to inform the teacher and uh, uh, with the teacher with or with another colleague you will go to the nurse okay so I told you, it's very important to have a responsibility to collect the sport equipment that you are using for that lesson, okay? Now, also, I would like to continue to uh, speak about, let's say, for instance, you got sick and you cannot attend the PE classes. What you should do, for example, in that case? So, in that case, when you are getting sick, of course, we, we feel sorry for you that, first of all, you got sick, but I hope and we hope that you are gonna get soon uh, more healthy and you can be ready for the uh, next lesson but if you get sick and you ha you have to skip some lesson what you should do you should bring and to inform the our school um, uh, nurses and also to bring a medical check to the nurses and to the sport department okay it's not that uh bring, just bring excuses sorry i felt uh, sick i mean, yes we trust you but also we need to have the confirmation that you really were uh sick on during that period okay so that's the thing that you you should um, you should uh, do it now another thing that you should uh, keep in mind that uh, for example, during the PE classes, if you think that you really need and we are doing outside and it's hot for you, you can bring with you a bottle with water because it's very important to stay hydrated all the time, okay? It's very, very important for you, for your health, okay? So, uh, if again, if you have any other questions, uh, please uh, just contact your teacher. Uh, it's very important to uh, have uh, questions uh, how you and what you have to do during the lesson especially uh, for those that they are grade 7 that they are new students okay so basically basically i hope i reached everything for you again if you have any other questions but please keep following these uh, rules that they are uh, very important for uh, for you for us for everyone for for your colleagues for your friends okay it's very important to to be aware and to be responsible because that's the idea with you and with the rest uh, 
of the college. So basically that's it. Um, uh, you should and you have healthy mind in a healthy body. Be responsible. Thank you very much. My name is Drago. See you during the lesson. Bye-bye.